If you've seen my Super Mario Brothers crossover series or played the game for yourself and thought to yourself, you know what this game needs? Sonic. It's me, Mario. You need a <laughs> Just kidding, that's next week. Greetings, and welcome to Sonic Ball. So this game is kind of similar to Super Sonic, to Super Mario Bros. crossover. It takes place in Super Mario Bros. 1. Mario and Luigi are playable. <laughs> and it's got some other characters. It's a good deal of different though, and there are some kind of there are pros and cons, right? Uh, this game doesn't have cheats, unless there are mods that add cheats, because this game does have mods. Um, which that's kind of telling us the first thing I talk about, but hey. <laughs> This game does have a level editor, but it doesn't have uh, saving, so I can't save my progress. That's why I'm only doing one video of this. <laughs> it does, however, have level select built in, instead of it being a cheat. So there is that. So I can kind of do a, a series of this, but not really. Not really. Um... This also is not a Flash game. I'm not entirely sure what engine it's built on. I don't think it's... Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. It, but it's not Flash. So hey. Let's just get into this, shall we? So, you've got the normal Sonic crew. And then there's this guy. <laughs> from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now, you would think he would... you think they'd use Metal Sonic, but that's actually a Sonic skin. Because, yeah, this game has skins just like uh, Super Mario Bros. Crossover does. It also has this dude. And I have no idea why he's in here. But he does have some, um... Interesting skins. But we're not playing him. So... Here's the thing. All these characters have their own unique movesets. Including these guys, which... They didn't really have unique movesets in Super Mario Bros crossover. So if you're looking for a um super so if you're looking for a Mario or a Luigi experience that isn't planned, here you go. I mean Luigi was slippery. Really slippery in Super Mario crossover, but you'll, you'll see what I mean as I get into this. So let's get into this. Let's start with Mario. Let's start with um uh, that's uh, for Mario for a second, but no. Let's start with Sonic. Now, instead of having different map sets, it doesn't it says it doesn't have the maps from Special or Lost Worlds. You get skins, but you know Super Mario Bros. Crossover has skins as well, so that's fine. This is the most Sonic you want, so this one we're gonna go for. So here's your favorite Hedgehog boy. He jumps. He rolls. You give him a mushroom. He spin dashes. He also has an, uh, he also has an instant shield and an air dash. Nice collection of abilities right off the bat, but we're not done. He's got more. Come on, I know you're somewhere. There we go. Let's give him this, and now his air dash breaks blocks. I forgot about that, that's too late now. Also, Sonic used Flame Wheel <laughs> as a Pokemon joke. There we go. Uh, if you collect the eight rings, they give you an extra life, so I'm not too worried about that. Give him an invincibility shield. He doesn't really change. I mean, like, like yeah, he's invincible, but like he doesn't get any new abilities from the, from the invincibility stuff. So, that's not really a surprise, to be honest. Let's go on through. And that's Sonic done. 
Now, I wish, I really do wish that this game had a character change option from this screen. But it doesn't, so I have to go back to the main menu. So I'll do that real quick. So now we move on to Tails. Uh, no, 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 hang on a second. I meant to do, I didn't, I'm not, I'm not going through World 1 over and over again, over again. We're not doing that. Hang on. Hang on. 1, 2, there it is. Tails rolls. Tails flies. Tails has a meter up here underneath the coin blocks uh, that shows you how long you can play for. And if you give him a mushroom, you can spin dash. And he breaks blocks when he flies. Very useful for coin blocks like this. If you can keep them on there. <laughs> it can be a bit difficult to do that. Go. Tails has a little something special when he gets the fire flower. Though. Something that has made him my favorite character in this in this game. Actually, uh, he has bombs. <laughs> uh, if you ever heard the phrase uh, "dirty crime boy," let's not talk about it. <laughs> Also, spin dashing is very good for coin blocks like this. But I'm pretty sure I've seen, I've shown you that already. I just didn't say anything. Which is a uh, bad habit that I need to get rid of. So take it. Go. Another uh, lamp pole. What they're called? I'm Sonic One. Yeah, you just you collect all of the coins and don't die. And you get an extra life. There we go. Oh, oh, one other thing, by the way, while we're here. Fair warning. This game does change the level up some. So, be ready for that. I've basically shown you everything uh, there is in hell. It's just uh, fly and blow things up. It's easy, right? Let's. Okay. There we go. And then let's immediately abandon him for the next character on the list. Now, Knuckles isn't all too different from, from what you would expect from him. So Knuckles, right? He glides. He climbs walls. By the way, this is important. Take that. Purple, uh, crystal. Also, if you look up, they do things instead of looking up. Weird, but cool. Alright, let's get Knuckles a mushroom. And then immediately die. <laughs> Yeesh! By the way, if you're wondering why those crystals are important, now you know. It's special stage time. Knuckles is now a golf ball. You move the stage around in order to move Knuckles around. And yes, it's like this for all characters. So, for warning on that. And at the end of the thing, at the end of the stage, the Chaos Emerald, because it's Sonic. Of course. 
collect all seven of them and uh, something might happen. I've never actually got the supersonic to work on this, but I mean, it might be a thing now. It might be something to add in later. Who knows? And I just died for no reason. And let's just get out of here. It means no worries for the rest of your day. <sighs> okay. So, next character. Uh, Amy. I'm actually gonna skip World 1 4 because it's not a good World 4. We're just gonna go to 2 1. So, Amy has a hammer. She's using the air, she's using the ground. But she can't roll. She can slide. She can hop. But she can't roll. Now the fun with her really starts when we get her a fire flower. So, let's, so there we go. I was about to say this go local one, but there's one right here. So hey, there we go. And now she can glide in the air with her hammer, and it breaks blocks. Also, she looks like a Super Saiyan, but a hedgehog. Try to figure that one out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, let's go. I don't have a crystal, so it's the eight rings puzzle for, for an extra life. This one's actually kind of easy to complete, unless I get hit. Hey, there we go. And hey, look, a crystal that I cannot get to. Here anyway. There we go, crystal acquired. And that's the stage, everybody. Say goodbye to the stage. Amy is actually, I think, my new favorite character on this game. In previous updates, it was Tail before she was playable. But now that she's playable, the hammer's fun. The hammer's fun. And now we have a robotic hedgehog that's not Metal Sonic because that's a Sonic skin. So... Man's is heavy. Man's can hover. Man's is very heavy. Man's, uh, cannot roll in his basic form. He also... He does this if you don't move and just tap left and right. What does this do? <laughs> nice. Nice reference. Oh, and that's a character unlocked, too. That's right, there's two other characters in this I don't have unlocked. Oh, one other character in this I don't have unlocked. That I don't remember how to unlock. But whatever. Right. Back to what? Uh, this isn't even the right world either, so that's fine. Mario. Or either that, or it's just because I found areas that I've never explored before, or something. I don't know. Extra lives are nice. Cool. Give me that. Thank you. Well, we can roll now. But you can also spin dash. Or you can also not get down there, apparently. But his hover can break blocks. That's nice. Take those. And we take extra lives too for no reason because restarting resets the life counter for some reason. That's what it is. lives in a row. Now this time, let's go back to World 1-1 one, one on purpose so I can show you what he's like when he has a fire flower in him.
go. Oh, he could always do this, by the way. I don't, I don't really think the fire flower changes him all that much. Hmm. Yes, yeah, skip. We can be the fast. Oh, hey, there you go. I have no idea how I did that. Oh, wait. Actually, I do. Oh, and it pierces blocks. We both, we all know how I like that. Zelda and Super Mario, Super Mario Bros. crossover. Now, the Mario Brothers are kind of basically the same. They have spin jumps, and they have ground pounds, which they didn't have in Super Mario Bros. crossover. Otherwise, they run, they jump, they get power, they get power up, they shoot fi fire out of their hands with power up. Uh, so basic stuff. Other than their mini moves. This dude. Don't know his name. Uh, we're about to play with him, so. And not in that way. Let's go to 5 1. Let's, let's spice things up a bit. So, I press B. He shoots air for some reason. Okay. I hold down to shoot B. And he kind of jumps. With the same amount of frosty as a normal jump. And you can shoot up, left, and right, and all that good stuff. He also can't roll because he's a human. But that's expected. I don't really think his air bullets do that much, so let's try to get him something other than death, please. Really? And yeah, his name is Stanley, apparently. Okay. Still air. Oh, okay, cool. He can kind of uh, juggle himself in the air. That's cool. Now the reason I mentioned Kit characters not having th having anything new when uh, they get the Starman is because Mario and Luigi actually spin like they do in, Mar in Mario 3 when they get a Starman there, so I thought that was interesting. Interesting though. Oh hey! Is uh... Is there a turn color? Shame it's not fire though. Does make them more susceptible to damage though. Hang on a second. Oh, hello, Crystal. Special stage Crystal. Hello. Okay. Also, you can control the cursor with uh, with your the arrow keys or with your mouse. Fun fact. There wasn't any Vals control in Super Mario Bros. crossover, so that's a, something to consider. Uh, hmm. 6 3. Hmm, actually, 2 1. Let's not go too crazy with a character we know nothing about. Zero lives. Okay. That's telling. He has a dash if you hold down a jump. He also has a gun. And he dies if you shoot up. I guess because oh, the animation has him pointing at his head, pointing the gun at his head. That's not okay. Yeah, okay. I've had enough of that. <laughs> I've had enough of that. I'm sure uh, fans of Rage Game would Rage Games would appreciate the up and and uh, B. I guess. Uh, so, yeah, that was Sonic Ball. Uh, there's not really enough here to make a series on, especially since I can't save in between, like, runs. And in, in, in between stages. But, like, at the same time, the level at the level selector is in the... is built in. It's not a cheat, so... I could, technically. I don't think I will, though. I might make another video if I decide to dabble into the level editor, or can... Uh, you know, download some le some levels. Maybe. 
Well, I'll have to see. If you got this point in the video, it means a lot to me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Farewell.